Hundreds pack a room in Vancouver, out to cast their ballots for a man they want to lead Canada. He's for the hard-working Canadian, the one that uh, works his hardest and still can't pay the bills, can't buy a house. But not all Conservatives are impressed with the direction Pierre Polyev is taking the party. Some took out memberships to try to stop him from winning because they say his message is too extreme. I find Pierre Polyev is much more the attack dog and I just don't really think it's good for the Prime Minister. A new group called Centre Ice Canadians is trying to make political discourse less extreme, even luring a former BC Liberal Premier who took out a Conservative membership to support Jean Charest. I joined the Conservative Party for the first time in my life so I could cast a ballot for him. Um, if he doesn't win, I, I will have been, you know, a, a Conservative for, I don't know, 60 days. BC's but, Provincial uh, Liberal Party you know, does lean more Conservative. Canadian. And Clark fears Polyev will leave many on the right homeless. The whole party will have moved to the right and I think left a whole lot of people who used to consider themselves Red Tory or Brian Mulroney Conservatives. And they'll have nowhere to go. Proud to be Alberta born. Other Conservatives argue Polyev will make the party stronger since he has nearly half the caucus backing him and has helped swell the ranks of the federal Conservatives to be the largest political party in Canadian history. I think that many people are just excited for a period of stability. But this former prime minister had a warning for the next leader. It's one thing to win a leadership convention, but you better win the next election or you're going to find the landing in the Conservative Party pretty tough. And then that will become the next question. Can Polyev's type of politics win over not only those within the Conservative Party, but also the majority of Canadians in the next election. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.